everything in your world just got a lot closer. Wait a second, a little farther away, a bit to the right, now follow me. What am I talking about? Well, if you've ever had a video call, you know that the camera is basically stationary. Hello Labs though is transforming this experience and making almost being there way better. For $99, the Helios robot allows your iPhone to follow your every move, making any video call just plain better. Now, remote callers can control where the camera goes. It can follow you around the room or spin around to capture what's across the table. How cool is that? Tian Long Wang from Hello Labs is here next to talk about his Helios robot on crowded places. Hello everyone and thanks for watching Crowded Places, the web show that highlights crowdfunded projects and the people behind them. As always, I'm Curtis Hollister. Joining me today is Tian Long Wang from Hello Labs. Tian, welcome to the show. Hi, nice to join you in today's show. Okay, Tian, your company is uh, recreating the video call experience effectively, making it better with your robot assistant Helios. What is this thing and what does it do exactly? Okay, so basically, Helios is, it turns your iPhone into a telepresence robot. So what it does is you put your iPhone there and the people display on the screen can control the robot to move around while doing a video chat with people on the local end. So it basically creates a virtual presence of the people displayed on the screen. Which is kind of a cool thing from the point of view of anyone that's ever done like a, a video conference call with somebody. You know, they move out of, they move around, you lose them out of camera, et cetera. This creates kind of a new experience from the point of view of the person can pan around the room. Is that what we're, is that what the capabilities are? Yeah, exactly. Um, what it does is to, um, is for, for people on the other side to control the camera view to turn around and to move around effectively. Yeah, change the angle. I mean, it's a very unique idea, and it seems like, you, you know, what's funny about it is that it seems like it's a natural thing that you should have already. Uh, it's funny that uh, you guys are the one of the first ones to, to do something like this. So to that point, um, you've got a very slick design. It looks very simple, very easy to use. What was the rationale behind the design? And maybe you could highlight some of the elements people should know about um, with the functionality and features. Um, so basically, I got this idea of having a moving video chat, um, you know, video conference where people are working remotely and they use Skype to join the meeting. Um, I mean, sometimes people on the other side need to interrupt the conversation and say uh, stop and then ask someone in the conference room to turn the camera for them. So I want to be something that um, so that people can control their own views and maybe move around as if they're actually in the conference room. The design right now is to um, create something that that is sort of... Um, a virtual presence of you, and also you can put it on tabletop. And more importantly, I want to make it affordable to everyone. I mean, telepresence is sort of the, the, idea, the idea behind this, and it's been out there for like 10 years, but people like uh, normal consumers can st uh, still have not uh, got any access to it because it's kind of expensive. So uh, my rationale is to use the iPhone as the brain and to build kind of a wheel to the iPhone so that it's kind of um, the hardware is very cheap as. Um, so, um, yeah, so I mean, it, it looks it looks like a very cool thing. I think for a lot of people, like um, it, it really does change the experience. Now, one of the things that you talk about in your video, which I think is very, very groovy, is you're, you're um, actually including an SDK um, and so that people can do unique things with this kind of this, these remote capabilities, you know. Uh, possibly adding it on to like, you know, a, a flying quadropper or like a, the flying cameras, etc. You know, maybe you could talk a little bit about what capabilities are in the SDK and what do you, what is your vision for what's going to be possible with it? Okay, so apparently what limits this tabletop telepresence robot is it cannot climb up stairs, it cannot climb on tabletop or off it. So, um, I mean, in the later version, ideally, I want to make this have the, uh, make this thing sort of fly around to fly on, on top of stairs and do that. But what I can do is to, uh, uh, like the SDK is going to include the protocol between um, the phone and the robot. So you can build other movement to it. And I, like the robot is built with Arduino, so um, I'm going to have the uh, Arduino code um, completely open source so people can modify it. 
And then when, when people add new hardware to it, they, they can just change the original code to make everything work. So people can build all sorts of things in addition to the hardware to make this to all, any things they want. So realistically, you, you could have it on a, a, re, a remote controlled helicopter with the Arduino as the controller and flying this thing around the yard, flying it around the house. I mean, that's it's kind of cool. Exactly, exactly. So let's talk a little bit about your Kickstarter project. You guys are raising uh, $50,000. You know, what kind of people should be backing this project? Like you're imagining a product that's going to be $99. And what options have you set up for any of the backers? Um, so basically, you can you can just back ninety nine dollars and get one of these. And also, one major one main market we, what I think uh, people would love these kind of things is long distance relationship. So when you want to spend time with your loved ones, but you cannot do because you are basically distance away, so you can have a pair of them for cheaper price. And then what I also see is like family with kids at home and parents are away on a regular basis. They want to interact with their kids or the, um, while they're away. And also, um, in the business sense, like conference, small organizations uh, where they cannot afford like expensive video conference solutions, and you can have one of these and have people working remotely um, to interact with the uh, with in, in the in the video conference as if they're actually there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, last but not least, people can like hackers, developers can buy this and improve this. Just like, it's a basically really cool, uh, maybe even a toy or de like developer platform to play with. Oh yeah, exactly. I mean, I think there's an unlimited number of, of things within like the creative community from the point of view of like this on desktops or remote offices and, and just it just seems like a funner way to actually be communicating from just plain old boring video conferencing or you know, your traditional telepresence. Yes. Um, now your background is in engineering, is, is that right? Uh, I actually have two masters, one in engineering, one in computer science, so I know a bit of both sides. <laughs> oh, that's it's great to see you're such an underachiever, Tian. <laughs> um, so uh, if people are going to uh, back this, uh, they're going to go to your Kickstarter page. Um, where can they find you on the internet if they're looking for you? Um, we have a web page, but I think most information is on Kickstarter now. If they want to sort of be in touch with me, the best way is to message me on Kickstarter. Um, you can also follow us on, us on Twitter. The company is called Hello Labs, so you can um, just follow us, and we'll update with the thing when new things comes out. Well, I think this is a really cool thing. I'm someone that uses a lot of video conferencing, and I, I think it's just like something that makes it a lot funner and a lot more useful in a lot of ways. Tian, thanks so much for creating this project, and best of luck of, on making it a commercial success. Thanks, Curtis. <laughs> if you'd like to check out and back the Helios, you can go to Kickstarter, search for Helios, and click on the Back This Project button. For more Crowded Places videos, you can visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Crowded Places TV. I'm Curtis Hollister. Thanks so much for watching.